Okay guys, it's time to get the party started. Get the party started, right? Right? So on today's topic, well probably it's not a topic, you know what it is? It's an update. Welcome back to Beyond the Bedside. Today we're going in for the update, guys. So it's gonna be a chit chat, it's gonna be a story time. So pull up your chair, come close. I'm going to let you all in on what's going on behind the scene since I decided to walk away from my bedside nursing job. So let me think, um, how many weeks has passed? I think this is the end of week seven. This is the end of week seven and I seven is my number. The July girl, seven is my number. Yes, I like, I love seven. So this is the end of week seven and I decided that I should give you guys an update on what is happening here in my life. So remember now, let take it, take it back. Let, let's just rewind. And for those who are new or this is the first time you're seeing me, I am Denise A. Thomas and I worked as a registered nurse at the bedside, meaning I worked in the hospital caring for patients, right? And I got to the point where I felt like I was burnt out. Yes, child, I was burnt all the way out to a crispy. So I said, oh no, honey, I am not gonna be doing this anymore. I had this burning desire inside of me that there was more for me to um, dive into it for my, in my life. There was more, like God had more in store for me. Caring, don't get me wrong, caring for patients, taking care of people, love it, love it. I was born to serve and extending the healing ministry was what I did. And I'm still doing that, but I just don't want to work at the bedside no more. It's burning me out and I, yeah, yeah, it's not working out for the doll, honey. It is not working out for the doll. So she decided that, excuse me, she's going to step away and she's going to start her own line of business. And I put it that way. It's a whole line of business, people. If you ever see what's going on over here at the camp, it is not normal. It no normal people. What's going on over here at the camp? Hello. First of all, the last time I count, I'm going to say it's probably se I try to keep it at seven because remember seven is my number now and now. I think it's seven different businesses that I'm doing, seven different things that I'm involved in at the same time. Not recommended, not recommended to no one. So remember I was burnt out at the bedside, but now I'm over here with the candles burning on both ends and the flame steaming on every burner. Hello. But guess what? It's things that I love doing and it's all for me. So I am enjoying it. I am doing them all in the comfort of my house. And if you know anything about me, I am the definition of a home girl. Look in the dictionary and you're gonna see my picture on the home girl. I love to stay in my house. So staying home is ideal for me. And furthermore, since I'm at this now particular age, the girl is not young no more. This is a senior doll. She's stepping on up in life and age. Yes, she's smarter, she's wiser. I love staying home. I love staying home. I can use the bathroom when I feel like, because I don't like to do number two in public. So I can use the bathroom when I feel like, and I'm a girl that enjoy going to the bathroom on a daily basis, TMI, but yes, I love that for me. Excuse you. I can eat when I feel like, and with my disease of the diabetes upon me, she has been here for a minute, I need to eat when I need to eat. And working at the bedside, that was never a guarantee. 
You know what I'm talking about, nurses. So there are a number of things. I could I could go on and on about the things that I, the luxury of staying home. There's some people like my sister Petra. She would never um, enjoy a, at home job. She likes to go out and socialize and mingle. Me on the other hand, I like to just stay home and keep it chill. <laughs> Shout out to Petra. Anyway, guys, so here goes the update. So uh, as I said, I'm working on a million things things at the same time. It's not always peachy cream and sunshiny every single day. I do wake up some days feeling so discouraged, the self-doubt creeping like, what are you doing? Then I get those anxiety or panic attack where I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to just mow through all my savings and have nothing coming in. And then I'm going to have to end up go get another job, go, go pick up back another bedside job. And I'm like, oh my God. But when those scary thoughts come in, I lean in on my faith because I'm, I'm a very um, big on my faith, guys. I pray a lot. So when the scary comes in, I just stop and I pray. I believe in God. I trust in him that he's going to help me to achieve these goals because his plans are to prosper me. And I believe in myself and my abilities to do what I'm trying to do. So um, I'm trying to keep myself hyped, keep my mindset right, because the minute you let the self-doubt slip in and the fear and anxiety take you over, that's when you're going to find that you're going to let go, you're going to lose momentum, and you're not going to get to where you, you want to get to. I've made so much ground since I started. I'm afraid of stopping right now. I'm afraid of stopping because I've really, really, really made a lot of strides. I am far, very far from where I need to be, but I have made some strides and I am excited about that. I am definitely excited about that. What do you mean? I can actually, when, okay, prior to going to the boss class retreat and going to Punta Cana and working on the Amazon store, that the tunnel was pitch black, dark tunnel. But now I can actually see a flicker of light in the tunnel. I can, I don't know, it's probably a little flashlight or it's a pen light. I don't care what kind of light it is, but I'm seeing a little light and I feel hopeful. It could be Peeny Wally. I don't care. I am seeing a little light and I'm going towards that positive light right there. So I, I am not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. But yeah, if you are in my, my, my boat, my shoe, my whatever, and you have stepped out and trying to start your own business, comment, let me, let me know, share, share your thoughts with me. I encourage you guys. And if you like this video, please share it with someone else who needs some word of encouragement and just hope knowing that you can stop and you can change direction. You don't have to go in the same direction each and every day, not liking what you're doing, but just afraid to stop and change direction. I love nursing, don't get me wrong, but I was burnt out from doing the bedside. I was burnt out from that. And it scares me to even think, whenever I think, oh my God, probably I should go back and get another job. I dismiss that so quickly because the fear of doing that is more than the fear that I'm experiencing now starting over. No, no, I'm gonna keep going. So yes, guys, so thank you again for joining me on this another episode of Beyond the Bedside. Please subscribe, please share, please comment. And I just thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta.